Welcome back to Federal Uncovered. Today, I delve into the intricate world of the Air Force Office of Special Investigations, or AFOSI. Tasked with safeguarding the integrity of the Air Force, these specialized agents operate in the realms of espionage, cybercrime, and major felony investigations. Stay with me to uncover the layers of this essential but often overlooked unit. AFOSI, the Air Force Office of Special Investigations, was established in 1948. Its creation came in the wake of World War II and the beginning of the Cold War. At a time when the United States was hyper-focused on national security, there was a pressing need for an agency within the Air Force dedicated solely to criminal investigations and counterintelligence. Over the years, AFOSI has evolved, but its mission remains clear, to protect the people, property, and information of the U.S. Air Force. With a presence in over 30 countries, AFOSI has played a pivotal role in countless high-stakes investigations, both at home and abroad. When it comes to safeguarding the United States Air Force, the role of AFOSI is multifaceted and extremely critical. They are responsible for major criminal investigations, fraud investigations, and counterintelligence operations. Their primary goals include maintaining the integrity of the Air Force systems and protecting its personnel from threats both foreign and domestic. AFOSI agents conduct investigations that range from felony-level crimes, such as murder and sexual assault, to counter-terrorism and counter-espionage operations. In doing so, they work closely with other federal agencies, including the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security, as well as international partners to neutralize threats and ensure the safety of Air Force operations globally. Given their vital role, AFOSI agents are equipped with specialized training in areas like cyber warfare, surveillance, and forensics, ensuring they remain at the forefront of combating emerging security threats. These agents are skilled, dedicated, and always on alert, ever ready to spring into action to secure America's skies. So I know we briefly mentioned the different types of investigations that a FOSI tackles, but let me paint you a more vivid picture of what that actually means. Imagine you're an AFOSI special agent. One day you might be in a room meticulously analyzing intelligence to thwart a terrorist plot aimed at Air Force installations. You're not just reading reports, you're connecting the dots, looking for patterns that could reveal hidden threats. The next day, you're on the field, investigating a major felony, say a robbery or even a murder. You're the Sherlock Holmes of the Air Force, sifting through evidence, interviewing witnesses, and putting together pieces of a complex puzzle to serve justice. But your week doesn't end there. Soon, you're digging into financial irregularities that could undermine the integrity of the Air Force. It's not just about stopping thieves. It's about protecting resources and maintaining trust within the system. And just when you thought you could catch your breath, you find yourself defending against cyber attacks that could compromise national security. The battleground isn't just physical, it's digital too. Your days are filled with code breaking and firewall building to protect sensitive Air Force data. Oh, and speaking of sensitive data, let's not forget how crucial you are in protecting the cutting edge technologies that give the US Air Force its competitive edge. You ensure that this information stays within trusted hands, far away from those who might misuse it. Your expertise isn't limited either. You have a whole team of specialized experts at your disposal. From behavioral scientists helping to profile suspects to computer experts cracking down on cybercrime. You might even find yourself a part of elite anti-terrorism teams that deploy globally on a moment's notice, ready to confront and neutralize any threat to Air Force personnel. So, whether you're piecing together intelligence, solving crimes, protecting assets, or pioneering cyber defenses as an AFOSI agent, you're not just doing a job, you're shouldering a vast spectrum of responsibilities that safeguard the very integrity of the U.S. Air Force. As we delve deeper into the extensive responsibilities of AFOSI, I want to bring your attention to a major investigation that unfolded earlier this year, 
one that exemplifies their commitment to justice and collaboration with other federal agencies. In April 2023, a San Antonio man named Keith Allen Seguin, who was a former Air Force civilian, was sentenced to 15 years in prison for wire and tax fraud. Seguin had a high responsibility job. He was authorized by the Air Force to manage contracts related to flight simulator technology. Yet, he turned this position of trust into a criminal enterprise, engaging in a decade-long scheme where he received over $2.3 million in bribes for $100 million in contracts. This wasn't a straightforward case. It was a web of deceit that required the coordinated efforts of multiple agencies to untangle. Special Agent in Charge Blair Holmstrand of AFOC's Procurement Fraud Detachment 3 in San Antonio, Texas, was a key player in the investigation. He praised the teamwork among agencies, noting that the results reflect the skilled and hard work put forth by all. Seguin's 15-year sentence is accompanied by an order to pay millions in restitution to the IRS, the Air Force, Army, and General Services Administration. This landmark case involved not just AFOSI, but also the Department of Defense Office of Inspector General, the Department of the Army's Criminal Investigation Division, IRS Criminal Investigation, and the U.S. General Services Administration Office of Inspector General. This multi-agency collaboration highlights AFOSI's essential role in maintaining the integrity of government operations and safeguarding taxpayer money. So, you might wonder, what does it take to join the ranks of these agents who are at the forefront of some of the most important investigations impacting national security? The journey starts at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Glencoe, Georgia. Regardless of whether you're an officer, enlisted, or a civilian recruit, this is where you'll receive your entry-level training. The curriculum consists of an 11-week criminal investigator training program where recruits learn everything from firearms and defensive tactics to forensics, crime scene processing, and even federal law. But the training doesn't end there. Once this initial period is completed, agents undergo an additional six weeks of AFOSI-specific training, diving even deeper into the agency's unique operations and mission sets. And that's not a capstone. It's more like a gateway. Once these foundational courses are behind them, new agents enter a one-year probationary period in the field. They have to prove their mettle in real-world scenarios before they can move on to more specialized roles. For those who pass this rigorous initiation, specialized training awaits. This can range from economic crime to anti-terrorism services, counterintelligence, and even computer crimes. Some agents may also attend a 12-week technical training to acquire electronic, photographic, and other skills essential for technical surveillance countermeasures. There's even a 14-week DOD course for those selected for polygraph duties. And let's not forget, staying physically fit isn't optional. Agents are required to participate in a series of exercises, from flexibility and bench press to a 1.5-mile run or walk and an agility run. They're tested on these parameters, which are both age and gender normed. Now that we know where AFOSI agents are trained and the kind of rigorous programs they go through, let's talk about the qualifications needed to even step foot in that training center in Glencoe, Georgia. First off, age matters. You must not have reached 37 years of age to be eligible. However, there are exceptions for preference eligible veterans and those already covered under the 6C Federal Law Enforcement Retirement System. So even if you've got a few more years under your belt, you might still be in the running. Citizenship is non-negotiable. Whether born in the US or a naturalized citizen, you must hold American citizenship to serve in this capacity. You'll also need a valid driver's license. So if you've been procrastinating about renewing that, it's time to get on it. But even with those initial boxes checked, there's a series of additional hurdles to cross. Every candidate must pass all phases of the hiring process. This includes a psychological evaluation, which ensures that you have the mental fortitude required for the role. You'll also undergo a comprehensive medical exam and drug test. 
And let's not forget the extensive background investigation. AFOSI leaves no stone unturned when it comes to vetting their recruits. In terms of security clearances, you have to be able to obtain and maintain a top secret clearance. And yes, that involves passing a polygraph test. So, if you're someone who can't keep a secret, this probably isn't the job for you. On top of all this, you must sign a mobility agreement. The nature of the job often requires quick relocation, and you've got to be ready and willing to move when duty calls. Lastly, if you want to be a competitive candidate for the role of special agent, it's recommended that you hold at least a bachelor's degree from an accredited college or university. So, for those thinking about cutting corners in their education, don't. By the time you clear all these requirements, you're not just any candidate, you're a highly vetted, well-qualified individual for the position. All right, folks, we've taken a deep dive today into the world of the Air Force Office of Special Investigations. We've covered everything from the types of missions they undertake to the rigorous training and qualifications needed. Now, if you're wondering, is this the path for me? Remember that Teddy Roosevelt once said, believe you can and you're halfway there. Whether you're eyeing a career with AFOSI, another federal law enforcement agency, or have some other dreams in mind, don't underestimate the power of self-belief. You've got to think you can do it before you can actually do it. But hey, even if the special agent life isn't calling your name, the point is don't give up on whatever it is you're passionate about. Life's too short for what ifs, so take that leap. It might be tough, but anything worth doing usually is. And like I said, believing in yourself is half the battle. So no matter what you choose to pursue, make sure you're giving it your all. You all got this. Really, you all do. Thanks for hanging with me again. If you made it this far, you are truly a champion. And until next time, keep chasing those dreams and don't give up.